So sorry for the lighting behind me. I'm at my craft table and the sun is like beaming in. So I look kind of dark, but that's okay because you can see the water there behind me and it's beautiful. But this is, as my piggy chalkboard says, it's a DT, which is Dollar Tree DIY bird feeder. So I was on a Dollar Tree DIY page and I saw this lady, she did something very similar which gave me the idea for the birthday present. She used an old dish satellite and she covered it and used it. Well, I didn't have an old dish satellite so I just picked up this pizza pan from Dollar Tree. Uh, it's heavyweight steel bakeware and it's like the heaviest thing that was done not as flimsy as other items from Dollar Tree. And so I just picked up this because I thought this would be sufficient enough. Um, I will have to, for the base, because it's going to need a stand to sit on, um, it's going to have to cover like this whole bottom here to ensure that it doesn't like bow in or break or anything because I'm sure it's going to get heavy. So... I grabbed that. I went to Family Dollar and grabbed some E6000 glue for, it was $3 plus tax, which here it would have been six, twelve, eighteen. dollars 18 So it would have been $3.18 for that. Not a bad deal at all, if you ask me. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed these from Dollar Tree. They're the glass gems. I picked up five bags of these. Uh, I thought that would be plenty, but if need be, I can go back and get more. And so, yeah, if you are doing this, just make sure, because these are like the light blue color, just make sure your Dollar Tree has an abundance of these, as I would put it, um, or the color that you are using, because if you need more, this way you know you can go back and get the same exact thing as what you had and stuff like that. So I just made sure my Dollar Tree had a bunch of these. So I'm gonna turn you guys to look down on here and we will go ahead and get started. You will also need Mod Podge. Um, I have a big bottle of it. This way you can fit down in between the cracks of all of these so that bird seed isn't getting down in it and birds aren't getting their beaks or anything stuck like that. So. Yeah, we're going to turn you guys here, hopefully, there we go, and then I want to loosen this so we can go like this. So I am right handed, so I'm going to do this to the best of my ability without being like all in the way. So first thing is you just take the label off of here and just throw it away. And you can wash this, but I'm not going to because it's going to be covered. There are some glue spots here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Or not. There's one right here. You can kind of see it. But it's not going to matter because it's going to be covered. So go ahead and open up your supplies. I'm only going to open one bag of these at a time, this way I'm not having a huge pile of these that could get knocked around or what have you. So, I'm just going to open that up and then open up your glue. And I don't know if it's going to need punctured or anything, probably, but it's got the, there we go. So this is the glue. It's in like a metallic thing. And it does have the seal here, but it's got the point on the cap, so you just stab it with the cap. Set the cap so you know where it's at, so you're not wasting your glue. I'm actually gonna put the glue or the cap back on it for right now. I'm going to grab a little handful of these and make sure that they're all flat side down so you want the rounded part up and then you're just going to want to push them 
or set them where you want them, where they are desired to be. So you just do something like that. And then you're gonna do that all the way around. And then when it's all said and done, I'm gonna put some like this to kind of give it a little bit of depth. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, so, if I can, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these glued on here. I'm not gonna use a whole lot of glue. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of the glue and then get some of it done, come back, show you guys, and that sort of thing. This way it's not like an hour long video of just me gluing. All right, so I got a little bit done. I didn't want to do too much to get ahead and not show anything. It is getting kind of heavy already, so it's definitely going to need a good base. But this glue, it has a 24 hour cure time, so I wouldn't put it somewhere where it's going to get bumped around or messed up or anything. But I did the whole outside ring and then I started it on the second inner ring and I'm keeping them far enough away from the edge so like I said I could go back and put them down in like that to give it a little bit of depth. So I'm just going to keep on working and hopefully when it gets into the center everything will fit good but I'm just going to keep working my way in and I will get back to you guys probably after I finish the third complete circle just give you guys a little update on how it's looking and that sort of thing so yeah so I know I said I would be back when I finished the third circle but I just wanted to show you guys how far I got with just the first bag of the gems minus one because this one's like all it's all kind of funky, so I'm not going to use it because it wouldn't fit right. It would look right. It would just throw off the whole thing. So that's how much I have with one of the bags. I got two complete circles, and then I started it on the third one already. So this is definitely not going to take all five bags, which is perfectly okay. I could just take a bag and exchange the bags for some or the the unused bags for something else. Um, I was, I, I would think that I'm going to use three of them. But, maybe we'll see. But, so I'm just going to keep on working my way in and I will be back to you guys. I'm not going to show you guys the completed third circle because, you know, obviously it's going to be like here in like two minutes. But, yeah, I'm going to go because there's a train coming, so I don't want to disturb anything. Alright, guys. So, again, I would apologize for the sun. But I finally... It's not completely done, but I finished the second bag of the stones. And that's how far I've gotten. There's... Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six complete circles plus one. Um, it would be plus two, but that one was messed up in the first bag. So, yeah, I'm only going to end up using three bags at most, I think. There's still going to be some left over from the third bag. So, if you guys are going to be using this same exact stuff, I would only get three bags. I will update you exactly how many I use, like, out of the third bag or whatever. But, yeah, so far two bags down. That's it that I've all that I've used and been using this E6000 glue and it's working pretty good. They slide around and I haven't really had any problems with fitting them in here. Just the way you, you sit them in there. I mean yeah there are some gaps and stuff but that's perfectly okay because again it's going to be getting filled up but I haven't had to force any of the stones to fit in to complete a circle as of yet so stay optimistic that I'm not gonna have any more problems or that I'm gonna have any problems but I'm gonna crack open a third bag here and get moving right along and get this done for you guys so 
Alright, sorry it was kind of blurry, but I just got the whole center here done. And I lost one, but I could just glue that back on real quick. But it was not easy to get the center in. It did not fit in like I was hoping that it would. But, I mean, there's not really anything more that I could do because I had already had everything glued. I'm just kind of wiggling stuff around because this glue is still wet. So I'm just kind of wiggling it around just to make sure that everything is secured. So, I mean, there are bigger gaps in areas like right here. There's a couple big gaps. There's one here and here, that sort of thing. So, I mean, they're a little bit bigger, but like I said, that's okay because the Mod Podge is going to like make a flat surface. So, now I'm just going to go around the outside and glue them in to make a depth and then I will show you the finished feeder holder the bird seed holder part that okay guys so I just got everything all finished this is how many are left in the third pack so I still have quite a bit of extra so if you do this using this pie plate pie pan only get three bags because three bags will be plenty if you space them Nicely, um, one of these here I want to pop off and add a bigger one. There we go. They are variating in size, so just keep that in mind when you are setting them together. There we go. Um, I just took one of the smaller pebbles and replaced it with a bigger one to make less of a gap. Um, but there's the sides and then there's the bottom. And then I'm gonna let this sit, probably leave it for two whole days. Uh, it says that this glue can take up to 72 hours to reach its maximum hardness is what it says but I think I'm just gonna leave this for like two or three days just leave it back here just leave it alone not touch it um, and go from there and then I will add the Mod Podge and that sort of thing so this DIY isn't gonna be up for a couple of days because I want to show you guys everything that I do. Um, if you wanted to, I'm not, I'm not going to personally, but since you've got the metal lip here, you can take and add some of the beads here as well. Um, like I said, I'm not going to because I think it looks fine how it is and I, I like it so far. Um, I do kind of wish that I would have gotten blue and the clear stones and mixed them in, but that's okay because this will just catch the sun even more. But I just want to let you guys know that when you are doing this, just be careful because if you guys can see, this rock here has a chip in it right there. I just Yeah, so I'm just going to clean up and leave this here. I am going to, like I said, leave this probably for three days, not just two. I'll probably leave it sit for three complete days just so the glue sets properly. And then I'll end up returning these other two bags that I didn't need. I was going to buy like eight bags of stones and I was like, well, I'll grab five because I thought five would be plenty but so so far this is a four dollar DIY from Dollar Tree plus the glue which was three so we're at seven dollars for this but you could probably use hot glue um, super glue just really any kind of glue but I got this because it's like the strongest glue for crafting stuff so 
that's why I just went ahead and bought it. And whatever I don't use now, I could use later on down the road, you know? It's no big deal. But yeah, you could use super glue from Dollar Tree. You could use glue sticks from Dollar Tree. You could use anything and just make it a little bit cheaper, but $4 worth of supplies here. $1 for the pie plate and then $3 for the stones. And then I don't know what I'm gonna use as a stand yet, but I'll have to see. I might go and actually buy another second pie plate uh, pizza a pizza pan and set down like glue this one down onto the other one uh, for extra strength so it doesn't bow or anything but yeah so that's it for now I will like I said be back for the Mod Podge and that sort of thing and hopefully like I'm not gonna wait until the stand is here like whatever I'm gonna do with the stand. I'm not gonna wait for that. I will just put this up and then if I do come up with an idea for the stand, I will link this video or link the stand video in the cards somewhere up here, somewhere along the video, just so you guys know. All right, so day two, well not day two, but second step to the bird feeder. Again, apologizing for the bright sun. I need to rethink my craft table because every time that I go to film, it's later in the evening. Um, I mean, it's not terribly late. Well, I guess it's 10 to 7, but every time I go to film, the sun is beaming in behind me, so I need to relocate my table. But this is the bird feeder top so far um i have let it sit it's been two days i'm not doing the three because i just want to go ahead and get started on it because i'm eager to see how it's gonna turn out i'm probably gonna end up keeping this for myself um i went to walmart last night and got some pennington classic bird feed here so yeah I think I'm just gonna keep this one for myself but anyways I have two things of Mod Podge I have the Mod Podge glossy uh, it's the water-based sealer glue and finish and then I also have Mod Podge gloss uh, clear acrylic sealer here so if you read the back of the like liquidy stuff, it says to apply a thin coat, dry 15 to 20 minutes between coats, and then, um, I don't know where it says it, but it says to be it's best to use this on, like spray it on after you're done with all the coats of this. Um, I don't know if it's just a marketing thing or if this actually helps. I don't know, but so I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. A lot of the Mod Podge here and just lay it on there like that. Then I'm going to take a foam brush and I'm just going to spread it out across it. And yes, this stuff is white when it's wet, but it does dry clear, so that's helpful. And I really, really, really am going to have to use a lot because I want to have all of these cracks filled in with this to ensure that birds do not get their beaks stuck. So it's going to take a lot of Mod Podge here.
So I'm just spreading it around. Trying to get it in all of the cracks the best that I can. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just spreading the stuff around, taking excess that's on top to go fill other cracks. And then once it's done, there we go. So once I get everything all spread around, I'm just gonna leave it sit and let it dry, completely dry, because this could be wet for a very, very long time because it's going down in those cracks and it's gonna be thick. So it could take a little longer to dry, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go finish filling the cracks and then you just let it dry and then you can use this if you choose to. I probably will. And then wait for that to dry. And then put bird feed in it after you find something to glue it onto. Fill it with bird feed and set it outside. And that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Dollar Tree bird feeder. Uh, the bird feed is not from Dollar Tree. It's from Walmart. But I'm sure you, you might be able to find it at Dollar Tree. But... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys made this type of bird feeder using any of these items, just go ahead and request to be added to my Facebook page. It's down in the description box. Um, you can ask, like request to be added to the Facebook page and I will gladly add you. I don't turn anybody down. And... If you guys have made it, just post a picture and I will accept it and others can see the work that you have done using this tutorial. And you can also go and send me a direct message on my Instagram. My Instagram is linked down below as well. Or you can shoot me an email and it's down below too. But that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you guys have any questions or comments... Just leave them down in the comments section and I will talk to you guys all next time. Bye.